Hey, hey. Hey, it's Danette. I'm going live. And this is a test because I'm new, using new software, new system. Hey, this is Danette Lane. I'm the founder of Lane Change Leadership. And I want to talk to you about something very important tonight. And that is change. And yes, I know it's like, you know, almost your bedtime. But I wanted to talk about change because it's at the top of the mind. In fact, we have a big change coming on, right? Uh, we're at the beginning of almost 2018 and like my business mentor uh, last night the night before we had a big clearing we we're doing some clearing of the crap we don't want to take with us into the new year which is really important and Nicola reminded us that you know the millennial is changing the millennium is turning 18 like it's going into its rebellious 18th year watch out I think 2018 is going to be a little bit of a crazy year uh, so it is the season between New uh, Christmas and New Year's Eve that I feel like sometimes we're the, the um, what is it, like the, the horses that are, you know, going up to the gates and they're kind of prancing around. I don't know if you've ever been on a racetrack or watched them, but they're kind of prancing around and they're kind of edgy. They're ready to go. They're ready to go. They're getting into the gate. They're ready. But they're also a little bit hyper and anxious and it's kind of a little bit of a scary place to be back there, to be honest. Um, I've been around a horse track and race tracks, and it's a, it's a little bit, um, I would say it's a little bit anxious. So anyway, it's that time of the year where um, between Christmas and New Year's where people are starting to think about what's happening, what's coming in the next year. And did you have a Merry Christmas? I should say Happy Merry Christmas. I hope you had a great Christmas. Um, I was very sick. Um, so it um, is a little bit delayed for me, but... Um, I'm still recovering. I have a voice. This is not my normal voice, but it's coming back to me. And I, um, this, this topic is so important to me that I just wanted to come out and talk about it today. So, um, gosh, I don't see, I'm, I'm practicing here with this live stuff and I'm not seeing all the live stuff. So it's a little bit confusing to me, but Hey, there's Tammy. Hi, Merry Christmas, Tammy. Yeah. I thought about you. <laughs> So there we go. Now I can see your um, comments finally. Oh, that's good. Well, anyway, this is a topic that's so important to me at this time of the year. It's on the top of my mind. Hey, Tammy, will you type in there? Can you hear me? Because one time I shot a video and there's no sound. So anyway, type that in if you can. I can hear you. Um, so it's the time between Christmas and New Year's where people are starting to think about the new year. They do some goal setting, some planning, some thinking, some dreaming. Do you like New Year's resolutions. Um, some people are thinking of themes, like what's a theme I can uh, focus on this year. Um, some people, I saw something posted the other day that people set milestones instead of goals. I thought that was an interesting way of looking at it. So can you, oh good, Tammy can hear me. Uh, if you're on and, you're, and your name is Tammy or anybody else, would you type into the a little um, comment box, what do you do? Do you set New Year's resolutions? Do you make plans? Do you put down goals? Do you make vision posters or vision boards? Um, do you have a mantra? Like my daughter has a mantra theme, which is pretty cool. Or a one word theme. One of my girlfriends invited me to a painting party so we could paint our one word theme. So do you do any of those or which ones do you do? Type it into the comments. I'm just kind of curious what you do. Oh, there's my alarm going off. I'm going to look in the comments. Okay, I don't know who's on there, and I'm looking at like three different pieces of software, so I'm going to just keep going, but I'm curious. So when you watch this, will you type in what you do to kind of look forward to the new year? Um, not necessarily just your rebellious year if you're 18, but just what do you do at the beginning of new year? Most of us that are goal setters, and hi, Mar Marilyn, <laughs> most of us that aren't goal setters, but most of us that are goal setters, uh, have some very common feelings at this time of the year. We're very excited because we've got New Year coming, out with the old, we've got some dreams and plans. In fact, today I was at my massage um, therapist and I was talking about what I do on the first day of every year. I do, I do a certain little routine about um, setting the intention for the year. And as I was telling them about one of them, uh, my massage therapist says, I'm going to do that letter writing thing, so I'm going to do that. My chiropractor says, I'm going to do that. On the first, my son and I, we're going to plan three backpacking trips, one of them to Packwood Lake. Isn't that funny, Terry? Um, so we had to talk about that. And he says, I'm just going to do it on January 1st. We're just going to go to the calendar, get on it, book them, get whatever we need, not, not hotels because they're going to backpack or whatever. And so he's going to do that as well. So there's a lot of excitement about dreams and plans and, and getting them nailed down that we're thinking about at this time of year. Um, even if we don't nail them down, we kind of have them mapped out over the years, some of us. 
And then we also have um, people that are curious, like, what's going to happen next year? I mean, I didn't see this other thing coming. What, what, what's going to happen in the coming year? And so there's this um, curiosity, uh, you know, that that we come across that some of us are feeling at this time of year about what's possible. And honestly, some of us have some uh, anxiety or we're just feeling a little bit of anxious because e there's big change. Either we're coming right up into the big change, we just finished a big change, or we're right in the middle of a big change, right? Change just always happens and we're one of those three or E, all of the above or whatever, D, all of the above. We're also thinking, well, what if I what if I set this goal and this dream and then, you know, what if it doesn't happen? And then what? You know, so I don't I don't want to set one too far out, but I don't want to set a baby easy one. So we're kind of anxious. We're going back and forth around that gate like the horse is about getting in. Do I really want to set this goal? Do I want to dream that big? So we're kind of thinking about the idea of what if it doesn't happen, you know, and the cousin of I'll be happy when. I, I, I kind of put those together. And so truthfully, um, we have this excitement about what's going to happen, curiosity about what could happen, and then we also have a little bit of anxiety about, uh, I don't want to set myself up for failure if I do another damn one of those goals again and I don't make it and and something happens. But usually we kind of dive in. I mean, January 1 is going to roll around the corner. It's next week, right? And we kind of either dive in or slide in or just roll in. Depends on how much you party the night before, right? So we just get in, right? We get into the new year and there we go. Um, we've got our vision board. We've got our one word. We've got... We ring in the new year and we just kind of get ready. We do life because life happens. But a few weeks, a few months down the road, what happens? Well, we get distracted because so many things are coming at us, right? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm live. Sorry, I got to know. Yes, I'm live now. Join me. That's my daughter checking in on me. Hi, Megan. And hi, Brad. Hi, Roddy. 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 I knew I was going to spell, say your name wrong. Hi, Janelle. Good to see you. Hey, type in. What are some things you do? Do you do some goal setting for the next year? Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you for being here. So what happens when we make these goals? We get sidetracked. I mean, there's so many distractions, right? I mean, shiny penny, um, new idea, more information. Our email floods our inbox. So we have these goals and dreams, but we get distracted. Something crosses our path and we chase it or we just find something else maybe that goal or dream was not important or that anchored down, but we get distracted. Another thing that happens is we don't reach the goal, right? Hi, Megan. We don't reach the goal, and so we get disappointed. Like, I, I worked so hard on that. Um, I focused. I took action. I got up early. I quit eating that junk food, whatever. And our goal doesn't happen, so we get disappointed. And then the other thing that... Uh, I find that happens is that we reach that goal, right? We reach it, but our experience is like, meh, like, yeah, it wasn't, it, it didn't really feel as good or as exciting or as cool as I thought it was going to be. And so we have this like disillusionment. So then we, we kind of take that with us, right? It's now part of our psyche or baggage or whatever you want to call it. Um, the other thing I, I was going to say that I almost forgot is <laughs> this happens all the time. We get amnesia. We just, we just plain forget like what our stuff was. We wrote it down. It was on a piece of paper. It was on that sticky note somewhere. Oh, here's a sticky note. <clears throat> yeah, I had on this sticky note way back in January and February when I wrote my goals and we just we get amnesia and we, we get distracted. We just forget. Does anybody relate to any of those? Do you get sidetracked, disillusioned, disappointed? Do you get, um, sidetracked and while you're doing life and you get amnesia it seems like it's just this cycle hi happy new year happy new year michelle i'm so glad you're here i thought of you today anyway we get in this cycle where we set these goals and then we just kind of crash we get amnesia we get disappointed we get disillusionment we get distracted and we get in that cycle and, and we don't stop it like we just try it again next year. I mean, we might coast and come back in June or July, and then September is always the new January, it feels like, and so we try it again. But we get kind of stuck in this cycle, and if we don't stop it, we one of the things I notice is we're, we create evidence that we can't do it, right? If we just keep repeating the cycle, we're just gathering evidence. Yep, that didn't work. Yep, that didn't work. Yep, that didn't work. Yep, that didn't work. Hi, Sean. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. 
Yeah, so we're collecting this evidence that we can't do it. So what happens is when we do this cycle over and over and over, it's poking, poking, poking at our confidence. Our confidence just keeps taking this hit, this hit, this hit. And we can muster up. We can pump me up. We can, you know, get motivated. We can, um, you know, put a Facebook post about how cool everything is, on, you know, <laughs> so to speak. We can do all those things, but now we've kind of... We added to our um, excitement and our curiosity about plans and about living and whatever we're doing this year and next year and next year. Now we're taking along doubt with us. And it just sets us up for this repetitive cycle. And I know, I know, I know because I think I was the queen of that. I have a history of that. I experienced it. And the year that I realized, I don't have a good example here because I can't find it. It's packed. Um, the, the vision board I was making is just a duplicate of the one that I had last year, like just new pictures, like new magazine, right? So I thought, what, what the heck? This is crap. I'm making the same freaking vision board from year to year. Uh, like <laughs> the jokes on me, like this is ridiculous. What a waste of time and energy. And it was, I was all in it. You know, I got my scissors. I was cutting out stuff. I was so excited and inspired, but I was embarrassed because there were the same things that I was, Hey Jake, they were the same things that I was um, putting over from year to year. It's just like a duplicate vision board. Same topics, just different pictures. And I realized I have a problem. Like, I have a problem. And so really that kicked me off, kicked, ticked me off, and kicked me into gear about searching for a solution, right? I, there has to be a better way than making duplicate vision boards. You might as well just put on a photocopy and just flop it up on the wall, right? So I started to study success. What a crack, right? I went on some wackadoodle goose chases. So one of the most important things is to define your own success and not really take everybody else's um, version. And I know there's some people out there who know what I'm talking about. And I know one of them is you, Sean. <laughs> and um, so anyway, I started to study this idea of success. And it took me probably, I would say 13 years, not to find one thing that helped me, but but this process that I went through, I just dug in deep. I tried all kinds of goal setting. I did assessments. Um, and as I did it, I kept some information and I just kept refining it and refining it over, over time, I guess. And now I have this solid system that I use. But it's really more than a goal setting. I mean, that is one of the things that, uh, that was like a byproduct of it. But the first thing I really need to do is get clarity about my identity and my own worth because it was a little bit shaky. And again, that whole idea of success and what success was like. So I first had to get that. Then after I got kind of more grounded in who I was, then I branched out and believed that I had a mission and a purpose. So I got really good clarity about that. And now I use this um, process all the time. I don't want to say all the time because once you do it, it's really deep. Um, but I use it to guide my life all the time, not just in January when I'm setting goals, but when I'm making decisions, when I'm spending money, when I'm setting up a budget, when I'm deciding where to spend my time, I use it for all those kinds of things. And I didn't know when I was creating it that um, I put my binder away. I just started throwing stuff in a binder. I didn't know when I was creating it that it was actually going to help me to this degree and help me and serve me kind of all of my life. And the reason that it serves me is because I started to assemble it and keep it next to me. Um, I built this. Don't laugh. <laughs> well, you can. I'm laughing with you. So I built this little, like, book that has the, what do you call them, sheet protectors in it. This is one that, this was, uh, well, this was back in 2014, part of it. Um, so I built this little book, put it in these little sheet things, and I put it beside my bed. And so it was really professionally called the bedside book. And I would get up and read it every morning, and I would read it every night, just to help remind me who I was and where I was going, what this mission was, because I would get that amnesia and I would forget. I would get distracted by life or trauma drama. And then I would just say it wasn't important. I couldn't focus on it. My mind was, you know, like, what's that called? like shiny penny, squirrel, everything. So I had this little bedside book. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Brian Corbin. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. That's so cool. How cool is this? Anyway, so I created this little bedside book. I assembled it, and I read it over and over and over, like I said, and I didn't know that it was actually programming my brain. And then I put it on the treadmill, and I didn't know that that actually does program your brain when you're doing something in cadence like that. So if you're on a treadmill or one of those little jumpy um, trampoline things. I guess that hardwires your brain a little bit. So that's pretty cool. So I didn't know that's what was happening, but I read it over and over and over and I refined it. Um, 
I was carrying it around and some people wanted to know what was in it and what I was doing. So I refined it over time and I put it into this little um, booklet and I call it a body mecum. And what body mecum means, body mecum is Latin, the root word for Latin that says go with me. And a body mecum is a little guidebook that goes by your side like that you can access all the time. So does anybody want to see what's inside a little my little body mecum? Put it in the little comments. Oh, hi, hey, hi, Michelle, I'm reading your thing now. Hang on just a second. Keep moving forward. Yes, there has to be a better. Oh, you're going to love this visualization stuff. Oh, hi, Patrick. Hey, how good to see you. I didn't see that one pop in there. Awesome. You made my day. So anybody want to see this little body mecum? I'll show you. This is what I um, kind of did for my business mentor. And so some of it is her actual stuff because she saw it and she really wants to. Um, she wants one of her own. So I did a little mock-up one. She needs to really do that. Um, yeah. See what I make So one of the things that's in here is my compass, and so I have this little process where I find the compass, my compass points, so that I read all the time. This is what directs me. I gotta get in front of the camera here. This is what directs me. The, another thing is my north star. These are things about how I want to feel, and these are what guide me and how keep me, you know, my north star. Um, I have my mission here that I have worked through and discovered and clarified and articulated. My purpose. Actually, these are. Nicholas, um, or parts of hers. And then the vision, which includes kind of a wagon, not a wagon wheel, what's it called? A ship captain's wheel of how to navigate through life with some vision. There's a picture of Nicola. And so um, there's a vision. And then there's also something I developed myself called a profile. This took me a long time to figure out because um, this was part of my defining my own success. I had to discover what my own personality was, what my repertoire, what my skills were, what my outlook was, Meaning how I saw things really changed a, changed a lot of things in my life. But to articulate it and identify it, my flair, like who I am, what my style is, what I'm interested in, what I love and passionate about, and what my experience is, because our experience really projects us into different places. And to know and see the patterns is part of the reason that we're here, right? And so it's very helpful to look at your experience. So here's an example of repertoire. So these might be um, some of the skills that Nicola or I have in my little thing, in my little uh, body makeup. So then I also have my tribe where I have, well, I projected into Nicholas, my girlfriends, <laughs> number one, sexy goddess, number two, tranquil Tammy, and number three, spunky Lisa. Anyway, you identify who your tribe is so that when you get lost, sidetrack, disillusion, disappointment, you know who to call. You know who to call and say, hey, I got stuck again. Can you give me some love? And this is also the people, hey, Rowan, good to see you. I'm talking about my body Mecham. I don't know if I showed you this the whole way through. Um, so these are your friends who Rowan would be, part of my tribe, somebody that you can reach out to when you get stuck to help you get back on, and also the people that you reach out to and say, hey, you still on the path? You still on the path? You said your mission is so important back here. Where is my mission and my purpose? So are you still there? So then there's truths. These are some guiding principles to keep you on your path. Some wisdom that is from other people to keep you on your path or to remind you when you get down. Note to self, I help people. I help myself write that um, to remind myself when things get really bad. Uh, things I just need to remember that I've learned over time. And then desired results. Actually, that's for part of the goal setting part is the desired results and the 90 day themes. And then the, I'm here for a purpose and I have a mission and I'm on it. Um, from Nicola. That's her sample. So that's what's in the body mecum. What do you think? Pretty cool. So you have this, like, you could take it, I don't know about in your back pocket, maybe, in your handbag, or, or you could have it at your desk, or I just do it whenever I do goal setting, and then I do some planning on Sunday nights, and I also do quarterly Danette retreats and things like that. So a lot of fun things to keep it fresh, and you, uh, you know, to use it to help my, to, plan, to, to, to plan and navigate through life. So I started using it with um, some of my clients in coaching sessions. So sometimes when they were in a coaching package, package <laughs> they were in a coaching package or whatever you want to call it, we would work on one at a time over time. And if you are watching this and you're my client who's just sitting right over here ready to be done, I'm waiting for your homework. I'm waiting for you to turn stuff in so I can give it to you. And you're going to love it. It's beautiful. Uh, <clears throat> um, so I um, have, oh, I got to get a drink real quick. Mm. I'm so dehydrated with being sick. Anyway, um, the, um, what was I saying? I, oh, so with my clients, I've done it in the coaching package. And I also have this, a couple of them, I think it's two or three now, have done a VIP day where we do a lot of it. 
in one day at a winery. Oh, that was awesome. That was really fun to do. Joelle, I can remember Joelle and I did it. Anyway, so that was kind of fun. So a lot of people have asked me, and that's what I've been able to do in my business. But And I showed it to my business mentor the other night, um, almost from frustration, like, blah, 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 and my body meet them. And I was flashing it at her like this, and she's like, I want to see that. I got to see what that is. And she's like, I want that. I got to have that. And she's dynamite, right? But she has some big changes coming in her life, and she's like, I need this to keep me on track and keep me on path because i got big changes coming on. And so she's like, let's get that out. Let's get that out. And I shared it in my incubator group, and they're all encouraging me, and they're kind of patiently waiting while I'm sick to kind of get it all together and put it out there. And so I'm finally ready to share it. And I love that you're joining me here. Wait, I have some comments. Let's see the Von Amica. Oh, Michelle, you rock. I read it every day. I read, when I first heard my bedside book, I read it every day, morning and night. That's why it was by my bed. Before I got out of bed and when I went to bed because I needed it so badly. And then I moved the morning one onto the treadmill. And I read it every morning. And what that did is it kept me on the treadmill because it kept my brain engaged in something that was super inspiring to me. Because my body on the treadmill wanted to like, hey, let's get off and go have a cup of coffee. Hey, let's go read a book. So it was really cool to have on the treadmill because it kind of kept me on the treadmill. And so, yeah, I read parts of this every day. Um, and I read it when I'm setting up a budget. I read it when I'm making um, holiday plans or vacation plans for the year. Is this part of my purpose? Is this what my vision is for my life? Um, it filters it. It helps me say yes and no really e easily, equally, really easily. And so that's pretty cool. And then um, I can't remember what, was there another question there? I can say, oh, Michelle, you love it. Yeah, it is so cool. This has changed my life. I wrote this like before I got sick at Christmas I was making a video about how I learned about the how to create a body mecum um, it wasn't called a body mecum it was a bedtime book before that um, but I, I made a video and you guys could go jump on and look at it and you can see the whole thing and there's examples oh and the really cool thing is um, there's also a digital version now, which I didn't have. I just created the digital version. And hi, Tish. Hey, that's so cool. Good to see you. Dun, 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 dun live. Um, anyway, say hi, Tish, and tell us if you are a goal setter or a vision board lady or a mantra or a one theme word. Tell us what all of you that are on there, tell me in the comments, you know, what kinds of things do you do for goal setting-ish things before the new year? I'm very, very curious. So tell me in the comments section. Anyway, um, sorry, I'm so excited about this. I might have gotten track there, but I would love to help you if you're interested in creating your own little body makeup. I would love to help you. I think the process is, hi, Chris. Oh, that's so cool. Good to see you. Hey, I'm talking about my little body makeup that I created. Well, it used to be a, sorry to repeat for the rest of you, um, like this bedside book thing that I used to read. And I, oh, I had some really cool pictures in there. Um, these are some of my pictures. Yeah, motorcycle, Costa Rica, happened, happened. Bought my first house by myself, happened. Anyway, some really cool things, but I'm talking about this little body Mika. Megan, you do the motto every year. That's right. Thank you for typing that in there. Yeah, my daughter does the motto. I thought you did the mantra, but you do the motto. So that's cool. Hey, Paul, good to see you, or Summer, or both of you. Good to see you. Thanks for hopping on. So anyway, um, this whole process, like to go through this, is a little bit of, it's a little bit deep. It's a little bit of work. You know, I was dating this guy several years ago and we end he ended it, I'm sure. And I was heartbroken. Oh my god, I was just heartbroken. I was having a really good talk with my friend Michelle, a different Michelle. Um, could probably be the same conversation, but and she's like, Danette, did he do the work? And I'm like, What do you mean did he do the work? And she's like, Did he do the work? And I don't know what the work is. What's the work? And she said, Do you know, did he evaluate? his former relationships, what he did, what he didn't do, how, what he wants to do different going into the next one. I was like, uh, no, like hell no, he didn't do the work. And I was like, what the hell were you doing there? Anyway, I realized, oh, we got to do the work. Like I do the work, evaluate, reflect, figure out, you know, what can I tweak a little? What do I need to do? What have I learned? Everything's a, everything's a learning opportunity, right? So this is the same thing. If you don't do the work to do the deep dive, you just kind of sometimes have these superficial, but they really mean something at the time. But this is a little bit of work. It's a little bit of a deep dive, which is so cool. Most people love doing the work, the discovery work. Um, I would say the process of just learning it 
and diving in deep is probably 80% of the transformation that you get, you know, from, from having a body make them like this. But, you know, maybe it's 50-50 because having this little book while you're setting up your plans, setting up your budget, deciding where you're going to go on vacation, deciding... I look at this when I'm doing my calendar, especially if I'm getting like out of balance in life or out of harmony. I don't do balance. I do harmony. Um, I look at where I'm off and I use it to guide me. And like I said, some of it, I use it to guide me back when I've hit a big block or a wall or a big disappointment or, you know, distraction, like I was talking about in the beginning. And so, yeah, I do use it every day. And like I said, the the discovery is so much fun. Most people have a lot of fun doing it. Um, I believe in fun. If you're not doing it fun, you're not doing something right. But, um, but the outcome, the little book, is probably, uh, I was going to say 80-20, but I think it's 50-50 because 50-50. That's funny. Um, because then you have this beside you, you know, a guide by your side, like Latin, Vadi Mikum, for go with me, right? It helps you with all those decisions. I'll tell you what it does. It helps your yes be your yes and your no be your no. And you feel good about what you're saying yes to. You feel good about what you're saying no to because it's all here. And it's not like you have this book or this poster on the wall or one of those mission statements at work that told you what you're going to do. You discovered this. You extrapolated it. You excavated it out of your heart, your soul. And so it's what you really, really want. And I think that's what makes a difference. And that's what helps us not get sidetracked, so to speak. Hi, Tom. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So good to see you. Thanks for being here. We're talking about setting goals and looking forward to the 18th year, the rebellious year of the millennium, right? It's going into its 18th year. All hell is going to break loose in a good way. I think we're going to be moving humanity forward. At least that's my goal and that's what I'm helping with. But I'm talking about a little body Mecham that helps us stay there. And so hopefully you can watch through that, but type in there. Hey, thank you. Oh, so good to see you in, in weird Facebook time. But type in there, like, do you do goal setting? Because, man, you're an achiever. Um, you blast through things and, and break through resistance. So, yeah, type in there. What are what do you do? Goal setting, vision for, all those kind of things. Just type in there and tell us what you do. Um, I get inside track because I'm so excited. I'm having fun. I'm not a professional Facebook liver. I'm just having fun. So I hope you're, I hope you're having fun. I'm so glad you're here. I just want to reach out and hug all of you. Um, but I want to help people create these. So if you're interested in creating one of these little body mecums with me, gosh, man, that would just be like, God, I don't know, so cool. Uh, what a, what an honor to do that. So if you are, um, I'm going to try to find, like I said, I'm using a few different systems here that I'm new at. I'm going to try to find the comment section and put in the link that you can go watch my funky video that I was making. Like I said, I was kind of getting sick when I made it. So um, forgive me. It's not. It's not sexy and beautiful, but I'm going to go type in here. It's DanetteLane.com. She's typing. DanetteLane.com. Vision board. Tanya, vision board and then smaller bite-sized goals. Yeah, totally, right? One step at a time. Next right step. Next right step. Next right step. Oh, yay, Michelle, you're having fun. I'm so glad you're here. You're giving me the goosebumps. Okay, DanetteLane.com. I think it's... <laughs> it's been an interesting week. I've just been pacing through, not feeling too good, and uh, so my brain's not all on lane.com. My body mecum or body mecum. I just have to find it. Um, thank you for being patient with me. I'm so excited about the new year. I, I think some things are changing. People, oh, I can't spell. Um, you know, things are shaking up, and um, I think they're meant to be, right? All these old systems are coming down, and bless all the people that built them and brought us to this part where we're at. Like, I don't think you throw the baby out with the bathwater. We're not going to bash boomers or millennials. I'm so done with that. We're all here in the same page together, so... Um, some of us can spell my body makeup. Okay, I think I found it. So if you want to help with that, I want to do that, man. I would love to do that with you. Oh, there it is. And it's probably going to start playing a video. Um, yeah, 
come back and leave a comment about how hilarious that video was. But it actually has some of the, the truth. Oh, I was going to tell you too. So I have this little body makeup that's a handbook, but I also have started creating um, the 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 uh, digital version. And so it's pretty cool because you can put it. It's like in a PowerPoint or a Google Google Slides, and then you can hit record and play, and it just plays. So you could just watch it loop with all your stuff and you can add music to it as well and if you go to that page that I'm going to download here in a second it will have an example of the digital one that I made for my business mentor Nicola like I said it's just a sample um, it's got some of her information in there and then some of it was just 2018 is going to be amazing Goal set. Oh, Lou Tice Chris that's awesome I think you and I talked about Lou Tice and I think Gary Mc, Mc McCollum and I talked about Lou Tice, and I love that. That's one of the conversations you and I will probably have again, and I know we had it over a holiday sometime, and I was just like, da 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 I'm just grooving with Chris on the whole um, Lou Tice stuff. Uh, what's his? Gary taught me a lot of that stuff. In fact, it's infused into some of this stuff. I love that. I love that. Oh, my gosh. We'll have to talk about that. I would love to. 2018 is going to be amazing. Yes, Megan. Okay, so I missed the W in my thing, so let me try that again. <laughs> oh my goodness um, thanks for your patience yeah I'd love to do this with folks and I'm going to be doing it starting in January and so if you're interested there's a sign up on there oh and it's like my business mentor is push push let's go let's get it out there people need this I need this get it out there and so I'm having kind of a January blasto at, at, um, like half price I think I can't I, I worked on it a couple days ago <laughs> But I think it's like half price. So if you want in and you want some help doing that, I would love to do that. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's virtual online, so you can do it from the comfort of your own home. And we jump on there a couple of times, and you'll have some little bit of assignments. Um, I was actually thinking about doing this with people who are retiring. Just dawned on me because I was working with Roland and Chris, or thinking of Roland and Chris in different ways about, you know, now what? What are we going to do now? and it would be fun to do with a group of retirees. Maybe that's part of the Retirement Academy, um, Roland. Anyway, um, so anyway, that's what's happening with my uh, body make and That's what I'm jumping on here. If you have questions, okay, here's a couple things. If you have questions, just PM me, PM me, right? Um, um, private message. I'm like, PM? What does that mean? Private message me. I'm still not quite back. Um, private message me. Plus, if you go over to that page and you watch that, video and then read through you can see the different sessions laid out um, so session one has a few things that we're going to work on specifically in this session two has some things and then there's like a half a day three four hour workshop on Saturday it's all virtual so that we can all come and go it'll be on zoom so if you have a video we can all see each other um, and and we'll you'll get the benefit of hearing and learning from other people so I teach how to do it then we have Q&A and then you're you're going to be building it. So the cool thing is, as we go through, it's kind of like teach, tell, not tell or teach, but I share the information about what it is. I give you assignments to help you walk through and pull the information out, out of you. And then you collect it and you hold it, right? And then at the end, you take all that information and upload it into my studio creator thing that I've created. And then it produces that digital report for you. Boom, done. It's done. It's beautiful. And then when, when you're done with that, I will show you by video, step by step by step, how to print it so that you can go take it to a printer and do it. And if you don't want to do that, we'll do it for you. I got people, we'll print it, we'll mail it to you. Now, if you live in um, Australia, some Australian friends, New Zealand, Costa Rica, um, we'll have to talk about <laughs> shipping and stuff, but I'll show you how to do it so you can print it yourself or I'll do it for you. But um, Let's see who's on there. Oh, how long does it take to complete? So it's like a four, uh, four week session. So you'll see on that one page, there's session, there's two, there's one session on a Tuesday night, and then the next night you have time to do some of the stuff, and then on the next night you do another session with me live on the on um, Zoom on the online video, and everybody can set it up. It has instructions, and you just do it. It's easy. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm not that techy. And then on the on that weekend, then we do a four-hour session. It's all recorded. So if you miss one, you have access to the recording. And so you can walk through it and have all the handouts. Then we do another session where the last session, the session three, is we're going to finish wrapping up all the little pieces for the body medium. And then 
Um, I also want to do something that's really like stepping into your mission, stepping into your purpose, um, you know, so that you can practice it in front of this group that you've been learning and you'll have the borrowed benefit from learning beside all these people who are sort of like-minded and interested and on the page. And then I'm thinking about, because it's sort of um, pre-goal setting stuff, I'm thinking about doing a bonus called, um, what do I call it? From goal setting to goal getting. Like it's a formula that I use. It's part of, I think I have it in here, um, how to get your desired results. And then I, sh I can show you how to break it down into a 90 day theme. And so that's what I do with my clients. But I think I might just do a bonus to show you how to do it and set you up so that you can do the goal setting. Because I know everybody's thinking about goal setting. This is like anchoring who I am, what I want, what's so important to me. And then you take it and sell off, you know, into your goals. And so I think I might do a bonus at the end. I put that on the page because I just feel like it's a little bit of a missing piece and I don't want to leave you hanging. So I think I'll do an intro to this from goal setting to goal getting because I'm getting tired of setting goals. I want to get desired results, right? I want to actually have those results. So anyway, if you have questions, oh, Chris, cool. Yep. Well, God, perfect. That's awesome. So if you, um, I look forward to talking to you. That would be so fun. Oh my gosh, this would be fun with you. That would be, that would be awesome. What a delight. Um, the, if you have questions, you can private message me, figure out what that PM means, or on that page that I gave, is the page working? Somebody want to hop over there and just tell me if that page is working, see if my brain is working. Um, if you go over there, you can scroll all the way down. And it'll say, got questions for me, Donna? Here's my calendar. And you can just go in. Chris, you could do this too. Just go on that calendar, find an appointment that's on my calendar that works for you. And if you don't see one today, just wait a half a day, but there'll be one on there. Um, there there's some on there right now. I mean, I checked. But go down and you'll see my calendar. And it just links right into my calendar and you're set. Just get, make sure you put your phone number in there, whatever I need to contact you guys. So if you have questions, reach out and talk to me by... Um, uh, PM, that just keeps bothering me, the whole private messaging. I think PM is saying go to bed. Uh, private message, or you can get hooked up on my calendar and we can chat about it. And we can chat about, you know, where you're at in life, what's happening, is this the right fit for you? Hi, Dave, good to see you. Welcome. I'm talking about a little body income. Now, I have no idea where you're jumping in live, but it looks like you just joined live um, because I'm not a, a live stream expert yet. And I may never be, but I'm having a lot of fun talking about this little body make um, a better way to do kind of jumping into the year into the goal setting. In fact, remember what what I what I discovered is that I created this thing that's good for life. Now I calibrate every year and go through and some of the exercises I do again just to make sure I'm on the same page. Plus I grow every year, thank God. And so I edit and refine it a little bit, but boy, I've done the work. I just use this. It's a lifetime little book about, you know, keeping you on track with what's important, who you are, and back to your version of success, your definition of success. And so it's, I, I didn't know that I was creating it, that it would last me a lifetime. And I mean, like I said, I didn't know that I was creating it. I was just searching for different things that were successful because what I was using wasn't working and I was so tired of making the same duplicate vision board. So tell me in the chat what was interesting to you in sharing my little body, Mika. Tell me what was interesting to you. What's most? What's the most interesting part? So that would be really good feedback for me. And if you could see me, tell me if you could actually see me on the video since I'm new at this and I have like 25 things on my um, calendar. And I can't see you. I think that's so weird. So I'm, I like making eye contact. But I love it when you type in there because I know you're there. I know you're there. Type in if you found something interesting or if you have any questions. Maybe you're all over looking at that page. That's awesome, too. That is so cool. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me on a Friday night and hearing about my little body makeup. If you didn't get to hear it and you're just coming on, I can't wait to hear how you experienced it from the beginning. So go back and click it, you know, from the beginning. And from that, I will probably jump on in the next couple days. So, um... Let me know if you have more questions. Like I said, you can private message me or jump over to that DanetteLane.com, MyBodyMeekup, slash MyBodyMeekup. And there's a calendar there that you can, that you can um, 
leave a message. I see something coming in there that you can uh, jump on and see if we have a mutual time and we'll just get on the phone. Let's we'll get on the phone and chat. What's going on? What do you think? What do you want to do? What did you learn? And Michelle's going to check the link for me. Thank you. Ah, oh, thanks, Chris. Thank you very much. I, I decided to wait till today because I actually have like color in my face again. <laughs> but that was not fun being sick at Christmas. But um, I can't wait till my voice comes back. I hope it sounds all right. At least I have one yesterday. It was kind of iffy, but i um, so glad to be here. Thank you for spending part of Friday night with me and talking about this. And if you go listen to that video that I made, the one when I was kind of getting sick, um, you'll hear, and, and I don't, I don't want to just keep everybody here tonight over and over and over, but learning this stuff about myself when I went through the processes that took me forever. Now it's simplified, but learning about the stuff that's in here that has guided me and advised me. I'm trying to find the camera. Do, 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 do. Um, is, or, or the, is what kind of, um, how do I say this, anchored me and taught me and, and urged me and gave me the courage. I'll tell you, this is a courage curator right here. Curator? A courage developer. Because the more time you spend in it, the more it just ingrains and it develops the courage in you. And I know some of you are so courageous, but I was not. Okay, when I started this, I had a lot of failure. I had a lot of, I don't get how other people are getting it and I'm not kind of thing. But what I learned from the process and then reading it every day and having it impact my brain was... Um, that I could do these things that I never thought I could do. So I bought a house by myself as a single mom. I have a bankruptcy in, the, in my history from just a, a life experience. And I, I was told I'm never going to get a house. I bought a house that was exactly what I had envisioned. Uh, so many things. I mean, I walked into the home and I thought I was having an out-of-body experience because what was there were yellow-orange walls in the house. There were yellow-orange walls in my book, in my vision. Um, I learned how to ride a motorcycle, thanks to that, and that had been on my radar for a long time. My kids thought it was just a dating thing, right? But it had been in here. I had a red motorcycle with a red motorcycle helmet with a ponytail on it, because you can buy these little ponytail things on there. And um, I got kayaks, Michelle. Kayaks were on here. And so I went on some kayak adventures. I went, I traveled. I never could travel. I had kids, single mom. It was just not in the cards. I went to Baltimore. I went to Costa Rica. I went to Mexico. I went to the Canadian Rockies, which was way more beautiful than anything that I had on my vision board. That was amazing. I had coffee with people that elicited things from me and with me that were way better than anything on my vision board because one of the things that's in my body, Mika, is to have deep and meaningful conversations with people. And so instead of looking at things that were just cut out of a magazine with words, and that's fine too. I don't want to knock that too much. That's fine. But when you get really clear about what matters to you, those deep and meaningful conversations were more important than a picture of, um, you know, a country that I wanted to visit because I really wanted to have coffee with a beautiful woman whose soul and spirit spoke to me or man or, or group of people on an outside, an outside outdoor cafe in France. That's why I wanted to go to France. I've had that conversation so many times at Roasters or Starbucks or Barracudas or whatever here locally because I got clear about what I really wanted. So this is so cool. I should stop talking about it because it's probably past our bedtimes. But this has helped me create those success. It helped me write my own book. Ah! Here it is. I wrote and published my first book, The Seas to I can't find the camera. The Seas to Success, Life, Love, and Business. I didn't ever think I could do something like that, but it was in here. I, I started my own company. I became a paid public speaker. I did um, I did the kayak things. Um, what did I do? There was something really I mean amazing. Oh, I remodeled my kitchen like with my hands. I built it. Well, I didn't build the cupboards. I bought them. I installed them. I put tile down and grout. And I did the two bathrooms. And I did my, what do you call it? Lawn, the backyard. I did it because these, I had visions in my head of what I wanted that experience to be like. And I, and I, I just, I don't ever want to stop doing this. And I have stopped doing it. I have stopped looking at it. I have stopped using it as part of my um, 
filter and part of my influence. And I hit a major wall last year. And one of my coaches, Vanessa, hi, shout out to Vanessa too, said, Danette, you got to keep that mojo. You got to keep your mojo or you just don't go. If you don't have your mojo, wow, I made that up. And I had to get back to my body Mikam back to my body Mikam to help me guide and steer my life. And um, so much happier, so much happier. So hi, Angie, good to see you. Hey, we're talking about a body Mikam. You got to hit from the beginning, girl. You got this. We probably talked about part of this on the bus. You'd love this. Um, so I'm going to close with thank you so much again for being here. I love your comments. Thank you all. Hi, Jen. Oh, I just saw you too. Yeah, you're going to have to go back to the beginning, and now I can't talk to you live. But thank you for being here. Have a listen. Leave something in the comments when you come back that say that says, Hey, Jeanette, this is what I do at the beginning of the year for goal setting and planning and dreaming and vision boarding and, and that kind of thing. Hey Angie, um, leave a comment in there so I can come back and read them about what you do for vision, uh, like when you're trying to create goals at the beginning of the year, you just hide from them altogether. Um, do you do mantras or mit, uh, mantras? Mottos, yeah. Megan does mottos, one word themes. Just write in there what you do and I'll come back and read them. And like I said, if you guys want more information, private message me um, or that you can go onto that link that I put in there and go over and read or listen to the video more or read. Um, you can watch Nicola's go around digital, um, what is it, her digital body makeup, and then kind of look through it. The schedule is on there too. And like I said, um, just doing a half price thing because I want to get it out there. <laughs> and because my coach is just like, if I get this out here, first of all, I need it. And also, we need to get this out there because everybody's thinking about New Year's resolutions and New Year's goals and that kind of thing. And so, yeah, as soon as I can talk, I'm back on talking about it. And I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for, um, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. And uh, I wish you peace, love, and harmony. Harmony. We're going for harmony, harmony for humanity. Peace out. Now I'm going to try to shut it off. Bye.